Well, I got a chance to run out and check mail today. Then I had this tremendously huge box in the mail. It's a guy out of Tennessee who is going to send me some stuff. And I already opened the box. Oh, that's my mail. <laughs> Back in the tube, it's actually my mail. But, uh, I need enough packing material here to cook my dinner. Okay, I, I read the letter. You know, he sent a, a letter with it. And he said some of these, they're the elastic band-aids. Now, we used to use them when we worked in a Harley shop. And those things are great. Uh, you know, they, they stay on even if they get oily or dirty. You know, they're, they're nice. They're the best band-aid you can find. So, a Yamaha sticker. The other things in here, which is pretty cool, is an AK bayonet. And I will use that to open the sticker. But the thing that's cool about this bayonet, and I know exactly what I'm going to do with it, is got a, yeah, just a Yamaha sticker. But I got used for that too. But the, the cool thing about these AK bayonets, you know, you can use the scabbard and put it like that, and it makes a wire cutter. You know, that's pretty damn handy thing to have. So what I am actually going to do with this is keep this in the check magnet because I don't actually have a knife that I leave just in there. You know, I've got a hatchet in there and a shovel in there. But now I can have a good knife and a wire cutter. Yeah, that'll be a handy thing. You know, built solid. But that's cool. That's real cool. But a wire cutter can come in really handy. You know, some earplugs. More earplugs. And there, you know, I was, I keep them, uh, in fact, I always carry a set in my pocket because I never know what I'm going to be doing. But you can never have too many of them. And some of these rubber gloves or plastic gloves. I see people using these all the time when they're reloading, you know, in fear of the lead bullets. I don't uh, really have a great fear of lead bullets because, you know, normally my bullets are lube, so you're really only getting the wax on your fingers. You aren't just dealing with straight lead. But, you know, like for changing oil and stuff, yeah, they could be handy. So I got a bunch of them. And a bunch of these now, that are that Kevlar type of glove. You know, when I've heard of these, I have never bought any. But he said in a letter that you could actually, you know, like they'll even take like a razor cut. So they could be handy. So we'll try them. But there's a few of them. And gaskets for a Yamaha. And that's great because he had, you know, he said he used to muck around with these 500 singles like I do. And if you have to buy individual gaskets, you know, they can be really spendy for a simple gasket. But yeah, I can always make use of them. They never have too many of them. There's a whole lot of spark plugs of different heat ranges, man. GP7ES. Yeah, you know, spark plugs there again too. I always carry a couple spares with me. But great stuff. You know, nice to have. But this AK band up is pretty damn cool. It'll be a good addition to the check magnet. But, you know, I won't give his name out. He's one of my subscribers, but thank you. And it will pretty nicely complete my getting out of jam setup. <laughs> you know, I got you know, my Swedish hatchet, or Swiss hatchet, German folding shovel. That's well, got the pick on it. And 
I know that AK being it. And I also got a little sweets all along, so I can get out of jams. And I'd say with this wire cutting ability of this bayonet, no fence will hold me in.